Hello everyone, and welcome to a, a bit of a different video. Um, this is my reaction to Gwen Saga. Now, I don't know an awful lot about this. Um, this is just a bit of a thing I stumbled across on YouTube, and it looked really appealing. I really like the art style for this. Um, but um, I know barely anything about it. Uh, I think there's a description here on this video, uh, but this is by uh, GOEXE. Uh, heaven here at Sin Heroes don't always land well. Um, and, uh, I believe this is kind of like a, it's a YouTube original animated series that's, like, kind of like an isekai, I think, in that, like, the main character is a regular guy who gets transferred to another world and is asked to defend it. Um, but... The question is, like, I, I really have no idea what this is about, so I was interested, and then someone, uh, a friend of mine, like, recommended this to me, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot, because, like, I'm, I'm always trying out for new content. I have done reaction videos in the past, mainly to Fang and Rompers, but I've also done a reaction video to, um, Alpha Betas, that's it. And, uh, and yeah, this looked pretty appealing, so I'm not gonna, like, dilly-dally, I'm gonna get right into this, and if I enjoy it, who knows, maybe I'll react to the future episodes as well, so... Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. This is Goin' Saga. Art style's really good. Tiora, a world governed by a well-respected queen. Wise, mighty, wise, magnificent, loved by the whole nation. Commander and... Commander of an army and leader of a group of elemental guardians. She faced great ministers that threatened her kingdom. Right before passing away, the Queen divided her land, so each one of her daughters would embrace the task of continuing her legacy. One of them went in search of new lands to conquer in order to write her own story. The other stayed mainland, the one established by her mother. Accepting every commitment and menace the Queen could not pin down while in life. Mm. Ah, god damn it! I hate that alarm noise. That's my alarm noise. It's so annoying. Episode one, Geo. Heaven sent heroes don't always land well. Lots do not agree with their own lifestyle. It makes us think about how insignificant we are in this universe. I already love this, this is great! <laughs> but what if I tell you... There are other universes. Yeah, I believe that. Readjust my camera. Okay, so he doesn't die and then gets transported to this world. He's just like, actually just like, walked there. Nope, his hair's white. <laughs> now he's falling. <laughs> Video game noise. Yeah, this is Pokemon music. <laughs> Ow. Oh, she's pretty. At that moment, their paths suddenly crossed. I like how there's no like outlines. That 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 gives it a bit of uniqueness. And the girl reacted as mature as possible. <laughs> that was like a Princess Peach scream, or maybe not. <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> this was five years ago, by the way, just so you know. As sweet as she was, she decided to help him out. Oops. Geometric works data book. Suspecting the key can put power patient in the end of the train communicate. How do you knock trees over? You don't knock trees over that easily! say <laughs> ah, she's trying a bunch of different languages trying to figure out which one he speaks Ami She's pretty cute. So that's Ami. Seeing how different he was, the simplicity in his eyes, his hair colour, how resistant he was, and how hard it was for him to stand up. She was able to deduce this kid was new in this place. And she decided to show him the beauty of this new world. It's very, very dramatic music! Why can't he stand? Is he alright? Oh, whoops. It's gonna fall on his head, I'm calling it. Oh god, it's a beehive! There's a lot of bridges. There's a lot of very, very like open bridge areas. He's walking normally now. Oh, and he's carrying the boulder. Oh, he's getting better. Cool. I like how they're just throwing you right in. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so it is going to have that kind of fan service in it. Good to know. Oh, wow. He got, he got good fast. <laughs> I can barely see anything. It's so bright. Am I the only one who can, like, barely see anything? It's really, really bright. The lighting isn't done very well in this. <laughs> oh, punch it. Lasers. This guy really likes to roll with everything, doesn't he? Ow. God, that hurts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My reaction, exactly. <laughs> Look, I'll be brief. Obviously, you're from another universe. You may have noticed the physical changes you've experienced. Gravity, density, strength, and specific weight are completely different to what you were used to. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Practically, that makes you some sort of super being. 
Listen, your capabilities are amazing in this world. You should use them to do good in this universe. You can get to be a hero and start by saving that girl. Here, this sword and visor will be really helpful for her on. Oh, so you're not a bad guy. Right. I have no idea how they work, but still, take care of them. It was really hard to get them. I forget you ever saw me. I hope you don't suffer the same fate I did in this world. Oh, we got plot! Plot! And take this help as a welcoming gift. I like how it's like in a video game, basically. <gasps> Minus one. Huh? Right, ears are gone. <gasps> you must find her as soon as possible. The girl was mobile by when you think. Without a headband, her vitality will drop a critical point, and then who knows what can happen. So she needs the cat ears. Better hurry up. I already really like this. I'm not the biggest fan of the lighting, I think, but I think that will get better. This is the first episode, it came out five years ago. So looking for Ami. So he's Geo. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Ready. Oh, it is like a video game. Oh dear. you right into it. This isn't the pilot episode, by the way. This is like, there's a separate video which was a pilot that I did watch, but it didn't really give me my many clues into what was going on. And there were kind of some spoilers, so I didn't really watch all of it. But this is really cool. Pretty simple. It's a very, very simple art style, but it's really good. I might have to draw some characters in this style. gonna get up and she's gonna like obliterate them. Yeah, there you go. Stunned. Oh! Ah, she's got a bow, cool. Wait, she took the headband off? Oh my god, you've got a sword, you idiot. Just... Yeah, use it. Do that! Why didn't you do that earlier? The fuck on punch! Nice. High five. What? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, don't kiss her. Not yet. What's that do? And that's how she meets a new friend and he starts a new life. Oh, and that woman. Good luck, kid. You'll need it. Groin Saga. Hey, Elizabeth and Musical. Credits to everyone here who made this. This was really good. I'm looking forward to seeing more. I really am. Is that Sephiroth in the background? It kind of looks like him. Is that all? Oh, post credit scene. Okay, cool. Again, I knew nothing about Groin Saga going into it, so I'm quite invested in this, even though it's not... We haven't seen much of it so far. I will definitely react to the next episode of this when it comes out, though, so stay tuned for that. Um, credit to GOEXE, or however you pronounce it, GOXA, and everyone else who worked on this animation. It's really good. My only critique so far is that the lighting could be a bit better. I think there were some scenes where the background was so bright and the light reflecting off the characters was so bright that I could barely see it. Um, I'm hoping that gets better in like future episodes because this was really good and I would really, really like to see more. So yeah, uh, for now I'll leave it. I'll leave it there. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.